Hello, I'm Stephen Murphy. I'm the Executive Vice President of Banking at Canadian Western Bank. And I want to thank the Walrus for including me in this dialogue. Um, so Canadian Western Bank is a boutique bank. Uh, we're based in Edmonton and we're focused primarily on business owners. We have 42 branches in Western Canada. Plus we have national businesses in commercial finance, equipment leasing, and residential mortgages. We've got just over $22 billion in loans and we have a market cap of just under two and a half billion dollars. And um, I, I was thinking about the topic for today and, and thought, well, what a diverse range of conversation uh, we're probably gonna have. And I thought, well, what am I gonna talk about? Success in the West. And I could have talked about you know, Canada's economy and the unique economy in the West and maybe key industries in the West or maybe even take it up to global trends in uh, trade or technology. And um, I got thinking last week, uh, our bank had our board of directors meetings and we had a strategy session after that meeting. And at the meeting, uh, people in the meeting were reminded about uh, some of the history of the bank and some of the themes that we had from our annual reports going back to 2007 and 2008. So one was Think Western, and another one, the next year, was Winning the West. So Winning the West was in the 25th anniversary of the bank in 2008. And so back then, CWE was about a third of the size of what it is today. And, and, and the bank was rightly proud um, of its roots and of its understanding of Western markets. And as was said earlier, you know, the West is different. It just is. Um, but CWB, uh, at the, you know, at the time defined a lot of its sense of purpose and also its value proposition to clients in being Western. Um, and so we had this kind of, our differences because we're local and we get you and we're different than those Eastern Toronto guys. Um, and that was great. And that strategy worked for us and got us to have tremendous growth. And we got quite large. But then I guess the, the thought that I started thinking about is, but do you get to a place where does, does identifying yourself only as Western start to limit your horizons? And is that the right perspective to take uh, your company to the next level? So this headline uh, came from an admittedly old article in the National Post. It was almost five years ago. I added the Western part, actually. So uh, is Canadian business culture too conservative to compete? There's been lots of stories about that over the years. Um, you know, and if Canadian uh, businesses are more conservative than their American counterparts, I would ask, well, are Western Canadian businesses even more conservative than their Eastern Canadian uh, counterparts? So I'm originally from Ontario, feel free to boo. Um, <laughs> but I've lived in Calgary and Vancouver most of the last 10 years. And so I've uh, been a banker for more than 20 years. And I've noticed a difference between East and Western Canada. And this is a big generalization. I have no science to back this up. I'm just gonna put it out right there. But I've talked to many, many entrepreneurs and business owners. And I see a difference that when I uh, have been in Western Canada, not all companies, but many companies you know, have fantastic businesses, um, fantastic growth stories, but they talk about their prospects differently. They, they don't seem to have the same bold view of going outside the West. Um, and uh, like, remember here, I'm a banker, like a banker. Like we're talking about, I'm saying we might be too conservative. So like, <laughs> let's just be clear that when I think sometimes when we talk about we're Western and we can, we can um, be better than who's ever gonna come in and compete with us, which I presume to mean somebody from not the West, it, basically, it sounds like a defense strategy to me. And at some point that works, but at some point you're just a great company. You're not a great Western company, you're a great company and you gotta go on offense. So a, a little bit about CWB's story is so, you know, um, Five years ago, CWB developed a strategic plan and they were just looking at their growth saying, how are we gonna continue to grow? Where are prospects? And, and the view was that we, we had to expand our, our goals and think more broadly. Now, I, I might argue that you know, a truly bold organization should be thinking globally nowadays, but CWB had so much opportunity domestically that we, uh, it was enough just to say, well, maybe we should go east. 
And so we began a strategy to expand our footprint. And this was achieved through some strategic acquisitions to add to our reach and also our capabilities. And now we have 15% of our business in Ontario. But we actually, in five years, expect to have a third of our business in Ontario. And you know, we were doing some market share studies the other day, and you know, some of the markets that we're interested in are twice as big. Ontario, for those markets, is twice as big as all of Western Canada. And so you've, you've got to think about uh, that opportunity. And we've got a lot of work to do, and there's still people in the company that say, yeah, but can we really go on and take, take on those, those big, bad Toronto banks in their own backyard? And I, yeah, we're a great company. Game on, like, let's go. Um, and I think that's kind of what um, I think, you know, as Western Canadians, we need to think more that way, and not just within a Canadian context, but a global context, because at some point, it's just how do you take your business to the next level? So uh, I guess this is my message, uh, think bigger. Um, I was going to just say think big. I had a different picture, but then I realized that uh, the American president wrote a book called that, and I just thought that would be a big distraction. <laughs> Um, it's still a great message. I'm just going to put it out there. It's still good. And um, we should think bigger. And the world is changing so fast, and there is so much opportunity. And this is the time where all the rules are being rewritten. And uh, this is the time for uh, the emerging entrepreneurs to really kind of set, set the future. And the West is well positioned. And there's so many great uh, ingredients to create the leading entrepreneurs and companies of tomorrow. And there's so many great and emerging innovative companies here. And so for example, we have a couple of initiatives that we want to do that we decided we needed to partner with a financial technology company to help us with. And so we looked globally about who, who could do this, who could help us with this. And we were probably a little bit more focused and comfortable on companies in North America, but we did look globally to say who's all out there, who's doing what, what's really interesting. And we narrowed it down to a short list of six companies. And five of those six companies are in Vancouver. Like, it's, it's unbelievable. And this is where the innovation and the really neat ideas are coming from. And so uh, it's just t amazing to me. And that's just one sector, just one industry. There's so many great things happening across Western Canada. And so I guess what I would say in closing is, you know, I think um, when, when we think about where the world is going and all the opportunities that, that's out there, uh, I would just encourage us, you know, to be proud that we're Western Canadians. It is different. I'm not arguing that it's not different, but also that we can't limit ourselves that way to thinking that it's just about the West or that we should just hunker down in the West. Ultimately, we've got to get to a place where the world is going global, and I think we should think bigger. Thank you very much.